Hi, it's Keith from Cloud Design Box. Welcome to today's video. In this session, we're going to take a look at how we can protect some time within our calendars using Viva Insights, which is in Microsoft Teams. Before we get stuck into it, if you like what you see today, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to be notified every time Cloud Design Box uploads a video, don't forget to hit the notification bell. So let's get into Teams and install Viva Insights. So here I am in Microsoft Teams. Currently, I don't have Viva Insights installed, so I need to go looking for it. So to start off with, I click the apps icon here and I can just type in Viva Insights and here it is on the search results and all I need to do then is select add. It will automatically open for us but one thing I just need to quickly do is just go over to the insights icon, right click and pin it to my menu. So I can now start to look at how I can protect some focus time within my calendar and I've got a couple of ways of doing that from here. I can either select protect time at the top of the page or I just come down to the bottom right here. I've got this tile where again I can then just select book or choose more options. One thing I have found though is that sometimes this book focus time tile is down here and other times it can be at the top of the screen so you may need to go looking for it in the first instance. With the tile version it will suggest your first free spot in the calendar that you can protect, the, protect some time or you can select more options. When you hit the more options button that's exactly the same as hitting the protect time button at the top of the screen here. They both work exactly the same way. So this now gives me the option of being able to book some focus time. So what Teams is doing is now looking into my Outlook calendar. So for today, it's pulling out the first set of times that are available to me. However, I can just select this show more focus time options. That will then show me all the available time for today and tomorrow. So I'm going to book a little bit of focus time for this morning. So I've got half an hour free at 11 o'clock. All I need to do is select book time. This will then come up with a success message. In this case, the focus time is now booked. And I can then go on to continue uh, booking in some more time. So I'm happy with today. So I can then go on to Friday. So between 10 and 10.30, I want to book a little bit of time there. And if I scroll forward in my calendar using the which way arrows at the top here, I can then open up some time for Monday the following week. Some time for Tuesday. I'm going to book a bit of time first thing in the morning on Wednesday. Same for Thursday. And then for the Friday. Booking focus time will show you your free calendar time for the up and coming eight working days. If I drop into my calendar now, we can now see that the focus time for today has now been scheduled. The same for Friday. And there's the focus time. For Monday, Tuesday, for the Wednesday and the Thursday as well. If I need to delete that time, I can just right click on it and delete it if my plans change. So let's go back to today and we'll drop back into Insights. So currently my status is set to available. When the focus time is reached in the calendar, my status will then change to do not disturb. As this is also placed into our Outlook calendar, let's just very quickly drop into there. As you can see, our focus time is now in the calendar for today and tomorrow. And as that focus time draws ever closer, I'll be notified by the calendar that the focus time is approaching like you would any other scheduled meeting. So here we can see a reminder is now uh, opened up in my calendar. And again, I'm just going to snooze that and drop back into Teams. So we're now set to focus time. As we can see at the top of the page here, my status is set to focusing. I'll only get notifications for urgent messages from my priority contacts. 
and I can set that up from this from this area here. Anybody viewing my account will see that I'm set to do not disturb so that they will now know that I'm temporarily unavailable. Depending on your version of Viva Insights, if you have paid for a premium package, you'll also be given a notification in your activity bell here. Uh, this will come into the feed. And also by clicking on the notification, that will open up a whole host of additional functions, such as being able to view your task list and also give you the option of a focusing countdown timer as well. So we've just looked at how we can book some focus time almost on a ad hoc basis. However, what we can also do, and depending on the Viva Insights package that you have, you can also create a focus plan. So what this does, it works out free space in your calendar and then books that time out as focus time on your behalf. So it'll do that for the next eight days. So let's get started on this. So it comes under a focus plan here. Click get started. And that's now booked the time into the calendar for me. So if I was to drop into my calendar here, as you can see, we've got a bit of focus time on Friday, Monday, two hours there, two hours on Tuesday, Thursday, two hours, and so on and so forth. Let's just drop back into Viva Insights. And from here, as you can see, the plan has now changed. So it now actually tells me the dates that I've got time booked in. This is for Friday, Monday, and Tuesday of next week. I can click book focus time. That will then give me the opportunity to uh, book ad hoc time like we did earlier on. So I, I can squeeze some time in if I wish. This is the protected time area here. And from this area, I can click on view focus plan preferences. This will then open up a window where I can then set things like my lunch hour, and also I can configure the plan focus. By default, it's set to two hours. However, that might be a little bit too much time. I can just wind that down uh, to one hour or indeed make it longer if I need to. I can then also set it for when I prefer the time to be scheduled. I prefer the morning and my working day starts at half past eight in the morning. So I don't want it any earlier than that time. Also from here, I can silence the team chat notifications. If I want to work in absolute silence, I can just keep that muted. Or if I want to carry on working with teams uh, using chat, I can put the notifications on. Any changes that I've made, don't forget to hit save. It can take up to 24 hours for those changes to become live. Or if I want to change everything back, restore the default and that takes it back to morning mute notifications in this case, and in back to two hours of, of focus time. I can at any time leave the plan. That will then remove those blocks of focus time that Teams has put in for me. It will remove them out of my calendar, and I can then either go back and just put the uh, ad hoc time in, or again, I can just click get started and just rebook it. Again, the only thing to remember with this, it only does it for uh, eight working days. You must remember at the end of that time, if you're setting this up as, for example, for standard work, you'll need to restart the plan at the end of that time or set up a reoccurring uh, meeting uh, in your calendar itself. So what does it look like? The plan has been created. If I just drop into my calendar again, so we can see the focus time for Monday. If I just click on it, open it up. It's put in as any calendar entry. I could create a meeting and invite attendees. I do get some flexibility on the time, so I can uh, shuffle things around if I like under there. Just in the notes, it's just telling me that Viva Insights has set that up. And also some other uh, additional hints and tips uh, from Microsoft. Close that again. To get back to the beginning again, I'm just going to click on Viva Insights. That takes me back to the main page. As you can see, the focus plan is still going. I'm going to turn that focus plan off now. Sometimes clicking the refresh button at the top here can push that through a little bit quicker, but I set the expectation that it's going to take 24 hours for that focus time to be removed from your calendar. So using the protect time button at the top of the page here, it's really great for booking in some focus time for yourself on an ad hoc basis. But if you wish to have a system driven focus plan and it's available to you, 
using the focus plan is something to consider. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also if you'd like to scan the QR codes, that would also give you links to our other social media outlets. Thanks for watching.